T-minus 30 seconds and counting. So this is the James Webb telescope launch. Unlike and the predecessor, terminal count. James Webb telescope is a and infrared telescope. And we can see Please. with this telescope Read. far into the beginning of the universe. It's been delayed mostly 10 years. We've been waiting for this launch. And we have engine start. They used the Ariane rocket to decollage liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. To launch this telescope. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good just, pitch program reported. It just disappeared into clouds. So if I go to the James Webb Telescope tracking website, it will actually show me it's been eight days and it is five hundred ten thousand miles it is nearly 60 percent complete the distance and it is going into that l2 the lagrange point orbit and it is cruising at 0.37 miles per second almost double the speed of the voyager that is going out into the space and it actually shows like each one of them where we are like we are eight days into it and right now the next major event after the sun shield deployment is the secondary mirror deployment then the primary mirror is going to open up and also the mirror segments are going to open up and several more events there are like 200 events small and big events i am mainly interested to track this telescope all the way to the l2 lagrange point i wanted to show you guys today how to track this telescope so what is that we need in order to track this telescope well if you go to this website ssd JPL NASA Gov Horizons website you should be able to find something like this which is saying that enter your target your location time and the table settings basically defaults so if you go to the you can actually save it uh, these settings so let me show you how this works so if you go to the first one it says search for a specific body here you enter JWST and you search for it and James Webb telescope automatically comes up the next one is the observer location so I go to this website latlong.net if you enter your address, let us say your address is um, Austin Airport, it gives you, and if you scroll down, it gives you like your GPS coordinates. It gives you the latitude and the longitude. Okay, so. notice that it is giving latitude and longitude whereas when you go to the observer location and try to type in the specific location it's easier to specify the coordinates but this will give you the longitude and the latitude so if you go to this uh, question mark it gives you the example 
saying that if it is angle eastward in the body's coordinate system enter this format so if it is like east if i go back to my latitude and longitude finder i should be able to take the longitude first which is going to be the the coordinates here i can put them in here and i can take these ones and place it here and altitude for this i went to a different website so there is this website called what is my elevation and it picks up the elevation based on your computer and tells you what your elevation is i'm on top of a hill so basically i'm 1300 feet above the sea level and it tells you where it is and you can add that 13 12 if it is not giving you the west north i think what you can do is play with like a minus in front of it and i think that will fix the elevation problem so once that is done you should be able to put in like for the west when it defaults if you put a minus it makes it into the east and same is true for the north or south and the height that you specify and here is the time for this i go to like a different website so you i'm in central time zone and if i go to this worldtimebody.com it gives you the cst to utc converter you need the utc time so right now it is at 11 o'clock so that is on sunday tomorrow sunday 5 o'clock is what the utc time is generally the telescope is coming up at 7 pm or 7:30 pm my time so i usually end up putting in like 1 am or 2 am the next day so want to give you perspective when i was doing it uh this uh yesterday last night when i was trying to enter the time i took the time so you go to the edit you put in the time this is the format and you enter the 2 o'clock the utc time make sure that you are going to give the start and end as let us say if you wanted to start looking at it at 7:30 then pick up the time from the website and and you can enter the time exactly like 6 o'clock is 3 7 is 1 8 is 2 and then you can enter the minutes 2:05 or whatever the current time is and you should be good and the step size is like one day and once you use the specified time span you get basically step equal to one day on the table there is a button here called generate and once you click on it it actually creates your coordinates that you need and if you scroll down a little it shows you the the right ascension and the declination of the coordinates where exactly it is currently located for your location process these images for more than 2 hours It kind of looks cool that i see some trials of other satellites and i try to zoom in to see the hubble telescope itself fairly disappointed i didn't see it i 
they started moving up and there you go the telescope going towards the L2 Lagrange point and it might find maybe we are not alone or it might find something unexpected we don't know this is the mankind's best telescope just to know who we are